The Jewish Quarter is right down Pariska Street, the luxury shopping street, and we're going to go to the Starnova Synagogue, which is the oldest active synagogue in Europe. The Jewish Quarter is called Yosefhof, and it's named after Emperor Joseph II, whose reforms improved the conditions for Jews in Prague. Historically, the area was a ghetto, but it's developed into a vibrant center of Jewish culture and religion. It is a very popular tourist destination, and the quarter is associated with Franz Kafka, who has a statue dedicated to him near his childhood home. We start our tour at the Star Nova Synagogue, which is actually the old new synagogue. It was built around 1270 and is the oldest surviving synagogue in Europe that still serves its original purpose. You get a good sense of the age of the synagogue when you enter it and see the rather austere, very thick stone walls and arches. The bima, or platform, is located in the center and it's surrounded by an iron grill, and the Torah Ark is positioned along the eastern wall. The art ceilings are absolutely gorgeous, and this is really a must-visit place to get a sense of Jewish history in Prague. Next, it's just a short walk to the ceremonial hall of the Prague Jewish Burial Society. It doesn't serve its original function anymore, but it has been preserved as a historical and cultural site. So it has a lot of exhibitions related to Jewish burial customs, the history, and the broader history of the community in Prague. You can see the adjoining Jewish cemetery out of one of the windows, and I highly recommend you get some information about the Jewish burial process before going into the cemetery. So let's go into the old Jewish cemetery and walk around a little bit. The cemetery is one of the largest Jewish cemeteries in the world, and it was established in the 15th century, the early 15th century. And because of limited space, the cemetery became overcrowded, and the bodies were often buried in layers with as many as 12 layers in some areas. This practice gives the cemetery its distinctive appearance with densely packed, uneven rows of gravestones. There are about 12,000 visible tombstones, although the number of burials, of course, is much higher. The cemetery is the final resting place of several famous Jewish figures, including Franz Kafka. The gravestones are made of sandstone or limestone and have symbolic carvings such as lions, deers, and hands representing the deceased name, tribe, or profession. Over time, many of these gravestones have become weathered and tilted, which adds to the cemetery's unique, very haunting atmosphere. Notes containing personal messages, prayers, memories of the deceased, and the stones is its symbol of charity and reminder of the deceased person's good deeds. Placing the stone is seen as a mitzvah and is believed to bring blessings to the soul of the departed. Head just outside of the cemetery and go over to the Pincus Synagogue. This synagogue is very moving. After World War II, it was transformed into a memorial dedicated to the victims of the Holocaust. Inside, the interior walls are inscribed with the names of these victims, 80,000 of them, along with their dates of birth and death. The names are organized by the victims' hometowns and regions. This creates a powerful and personal connection for visitors, especially those who may be searching for the names of a lost relative. If you don't do anything else in the Jewish quarter, you should visit this synagogue and then go to the cemetery. After this very moving visit, we stop very quickly at the Meisel Synagogue, which has been converted into a museum, part of the Jewish museum here in Prague. This museum focuses more on older Jewish history from the 10th century to the 18th century in Bohemia and Moravia. Our last stop in the Jewish quarter is the Spanish synagogue. The exterior of the synagogue is really nice and it's done in the Moorish revival architecture. Interestingly enough about the synagogue, it has an organ in it, which is uncommon in synagogues. There are often concerts held here to showcase the organ and the acoustics of the interior. The synagogue itself is yet another extension of the Jewish Museum here in Prague. I do hope you enjoyed this tour, and if you did, hit the subscribe button, and you'll get notified when new videos are posted. 